Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Manish here and in this video, we're going to take a look at on installing the Mac OS 10.8 final build on your PC. Alright guys, so we have got like lots to cover in this particular video, so let's get started right away. So the first thing which you got to do is that go to my description and click on the first link which you can find over there. So that should basically download this particular file over here. I downloaded this particular file from the official VMware uh, website and the version is 8.0.3. So once you've got this particular file downloaded, right click on it and run it as an administrator and install this particular application. So once you have you know, installed this particular application, go to the description and hit on the second link over there. So that should basically, you know, download this particular file over here. So once you've got the second file downloaded, right click on it and hit on extract here. All right guys, so I'm done extracting the file and as you can see over here, we have got three folder space over here. Now go to the folder which says Mac OS 10 guess and 8.x series, Windows and inside it, you'll find three files over here. Now choose the first file and run it as an administrator. So once you're done with that, do the same for the third file over here, run it as administrator. So mind you that these two files over here needs to be run as administrator or the patch thing, you know, just won't work. So once you're done with that, you'll find this hardware virtualization uh, folder over here. Now this particular folder is really for those section of people who get this hardware virtualization problem when installing the Mac operating system. We'll work around this particular problem a bit later on in this particular video, but for now, go to this particular, uh, you know, folder and double click on this particular file over here. So the next thing which you want to do over here is that you need to go to edit virtual machine setting and then decide the amount of RAM space you'll be allocating for the Mac operating system. Since I've got like 4 gig of RAM, I'll be allocating around 2 to 2.5 gig of RAM to the Mac operating system. And I basically recommend you to allocate around half of the RAM space which you have got on the computer. So like if you have got around 4 gig of RAM, you'll be allocating 2 gig. And if in case you have got 8 gig of RAM, you'll be allocating around, you know, 4 gig of RAM to the Mac operating system. So once you have decided on how much, uh, you know, RAM space you'll be allocating for the Mac operating system, click on OK. And then hit on power on the virtual machine. And then hit on I copied it. Since it's the first time you're booting the Mac operating system, it might take around 5 to 10 minutes to get things started. So the next few steps are quite easy, you know, it's just a normal installation procedure which you do almost all the time. So I'll be, you know, quickly running over through these particular steps. So in this particular step, you'll have to choose the, you know, the location or the country where you live in. I live in India, so I'll type in India. And then hit on continue, 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 and then hit on don't use. Then hit on skip and then you know select um, skip again continue and then hit on agree and then over here you'll have to enter your name and the password so now it's like you know basically creating an account for the macintosh operating system which you're going to use and then choose the location then hit on skip and then hit on skip again and then choose the button which says start using your Mac. So that should basically, you know, get the Mac operating system running. So now as you can see over here, the Mac is up and running. And let me just go ahead and show you the version which I'm currently running over here. So now as you can see over here, the version is 10.8, uh, the final build. And now if in case you want to, you know, uh, remove the black bars, which you can see on the left and on the right hand side of the screen, or if you want to, you know, um, work, in this, uh, work in the full screen mode, you'll have to download the third file, which is there in the description inside the VMware. I repeat, download the third file, which is there in the description inside the VMware. So you can do that by going to the uh, web browser that is Safari. And then go to my uh, YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash video awkward. So now go to the video which you're watching right now that is how to install 
um, you know Mac OS X 10.8 on PC and go to the description of that particular video and hit on the third link so you should have the third file downloaded so now let me just go ahead and download the file all right guys so I've got the third file which is there in the description downloaded so now as you can see over here in the download directory the uh, you know the app has been downloaded now in order to install this particular application go to system preferences and then go to secure and privacy unlock it type in the password and then you know select this particular option that is anywhere allow from anywhere and then lock it back again now the next thing which you want to do over here is that go to downloads and hit on install vmware tools and then hit on continue and then just go ahead and install it type in the password and install software continue installation Alright, the installation has been done and you might probably get an error message saying that the installation has failed, but that's okay. Go ahead and restart the Mac operating system. So once the Mac operating system has been restarted, go to view and you know, hit on full screen and then go to view again and then hit on exclusive mode. And then as you can see over here, you have been switched to the full screen mode. So the last and the final step for those of you who get an error message saying that the hardware virtualization is not supported on the computer, you'll have to follow the following steps, all right? And if in case you don't get this particular error, you're free to skip this particular step. So in order to you know fix the or bypass the hardware virtualization problem which you're facing, you'll have to go to the place where you've extracted the file, go to the hardware virtualization folder, and copy this particular uh, patch over here. So once you've copied the patch, go to your C drive. And if you are on a 32-bit operating system, you go to this particular folder over here. Since I'm in a 64-bit operating system, I'll go to x86 and then search for VMware. And then go to the VMware workstation. And if you're on a 32-bit operating system, you paste the patch over here. Uh, since I'm in a 64-bit operating system, I'll go to this particular folder over here and paste the patch over here. Then hit on continue. And then just run it as an administrator. And then what you got to do over here is that, you know, click on apply patch. And that's it. That should basically fix the hardware virtualization problem, which many of you guys may, uh, you know, face. So if you forgot any queries regarding this particular video, leave a comment below or go to my Facebook fan page and post your comment over there. So that's it guys. Hope you guys have liked this video and please do subscribe and like every fan page for regular updates. See you guys in the next video and have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,